Hey, this is Neva. Welcome back for another video on this channel. Today, I want to give you an update um, on my live trading account because I changed one expert advisor setting or uh, one signal, so to say. And in this video, I want to talk about the Go Long expert advisor that I use in the DE40 or the German German stock trading um, index or stock index, uh, which is uh, this beauty here, and. Up until this day, I traded settings so that this uh, EA would not open a position every single day. This was different if we compare this to the US 30 and the US tech, because here I set up the go long strategy so it trades immediately in the morning, directly at or uh, close uh, after midnight, and then it trades the whole day pretty much. This was a bit different in the DE40. Here I said that I only want to trade if there's a new high after 1 p.m. So how does this look like? On my PC here I prepared a, a testing setup so I can explain the strategy to you. So you can see here I'm using the Go Long DE40 program in DE40. I can also use the Quant Data Manager data. And here I'm just testing for the current year just to explain how this strategy worked for the last um, yeah, four or five months in my live trading account. So you can see it is now uh, loaded and we can see if we hit this 1 p.m. time, we will then open a buy position or the expert advisor does if there is a new high. Um, so yeah, there is a position. So we can see here, um, this was uh, on this specific day here. So we can see this was the high for the day immediately in the morning. Then the, uh, the price was coming down. And after 13 um, o'clock or 1, 1 p.m., uh, the EA starts to wait for the signal. And here with the new high above the daily high, we then open this buy position and then there is no TP and no stop loss and the position will be closed at the end of the day. So you can see this is what the program did every single day and this was fine. I mean, um, yeah. first of all, I also want to show you the long-term backtest, why I did it like I did it <laughs> in the live account. So if I do the test from 2013, so this was my initial testing period pretty much so I will just do this long-term test now without the visual mode and while this is processing we can have a look at the um, at the live trading account again so you can see this is exactly what the EA did in the last few um, few days so you can see here for example here at uh, 13 o'clock or 1 p.m. there was a new high and the EA opened a position. We can see this on uh, multiple, multiple days here. For example, here also at um, 1 p.m. there was a new daily high, so it opened the position. And we can also see it here on or after 1 p.m. there was this new high, so it opened the position. So this is exactly what the program did. There were some problems though. If we have a look at the long-term price movement here of the DE40, we can see that in this whole period here, the EA was having a lot of trades, but not all of them were profitable. Um, actually, a lot of the moves were on many days before 1 p.m. So the EA was completely missing out on these moves and then it opened just after 1 p.m. if there was a new daily high. So it missed a lot of the profits. And also another huge problem was with the slippage, especially during news. The EA really, really had a lot of slippage on, I think, two or three days already, which can make a huge difference. Because if you have slippage like 100 points on one single day, this can really make the difference um, in the performance for the whole month. And even though it was good that it only traded new highs after 1 p.m. in negative periods like here, there were no losing trades because there were new, no new highs after 1 p.m. 
I think overall in the long run, especially with the slippage, which is a factor that I cannot really control and cannot really test, so I want to get rid of this factor, I think in the long run, it, it, it was necessary for me to make some adjustments to the signal, so this is exactly what I did. And I will show it to you in a second, but first of all, let's have a look at the long-term result of this specific signal. Okay, test this over and finished, and you can see this were the resides for the last uh, little bit more than 10 years with the settings that I just explained before. And you can see here, there's a quite good profit factor. The graph looks nice. Everything's going up. Um, even though the last two or three or even more years, th three to four years, were more or less sideways which is also really important uh, for my explanation why I switched the signal now. And uh, you can see a lot of the, the profits and so a lot of this good prof profit factor is um, coming from the first few years here. Uh, so the years from 2013 and onwards. And these years are back in time quite a while. And usually I like to put some more weight on the more recent years. So the years, maybe the last five years. But with these specific settings, the last years were not that good and the previous years were better. Also with the problems with slippage, uh, what I just explained or tried to explain before, I was doing um, some thinking first and then some more testing. So what I did is I tested two or three more settings. First of all, I set the time um, for the opening of the position to 9 or 5. You could also use 9 or 9 or uh, 10 or whatever you want. It's just, um, I don't think this matters so much how many minutes I really go after uh, 9 a.m. But I just wanted to set the opening time so it's earlier in the morning. Because as I explained before, a lot of the profits were left out, especially during this um, extremely positive uh, period in the, in the German stock index in the last months. So this is the main reason why I changed the opening time to the earlier hours in the day. So this is why I set it here to 9. Now you might wonder why I don't set it to 1 a.m., like I do in the US markets. And the reason for this is because with IC trading, I, had, I have a lot bigger spread um, close after midnight. I think the spread is 400 points and then 200 points after 3 or 4 a.m. And then at 9 a.m. it switches to 50 points. So there is a significant difference. Uh, and I always want to get the cheapest trading cost that I can get. So I did a test like this at 9 uh, 05 with um, the waiting for the new high and then I also did a test with 905 without waiting for a new high and this is what I want to show you now in the next test that I do here and these are um, yeah I can spoil this already um, these are the settings that I now use in my live account here so you can see here I now use the settings so I so every single day in the DE40, the go long strategy will now open the position at 9.05 in the morning, 9 a.m., and then close it late in the evening. Also, I don't use a TP, I don't use a stop loss, I did not make any change here, but I made a change here because I'm not waiting for the new daily high. I'm just opening right away. And this is now very close to the actual baseline idea for this specific program because with this program I just wanted to follow the overall trend of big stock market indices and this is now what I'm doing also in the German index so you can see this first trade um, today in the morning with the new settings was indeed opened at 905 you can see it here immediately without waiting for a new daily high and today it looks like this was the right decision so far because there is a profit of 250 euro oh, not 250 but 230 I mean you get it and um, yeah and without my adjustments um, the EA would still have opened a position oh wait no Without my adjustments, there would be no position today with the old settings. 
Um, so yeah, you can see today it was good to change the settings. I mean, I will have to observe this in the long run, but I just wanted to make this video to share a little bit my uh, strategy monitoring process because many people always ask for this. Um, and yeah, these were my thoughts. And now, and last but not least, I just want to show you the final result or the, the final test with the new settings here. And now we, I mean, I did this test before, so I can al already talk about this. Now we will see that the picture shifts a little bit. So before with the previous settings, we had the very good years in the first years coming after 2013. And now with my newly adjusted settings, we will see that the last years are better than the first years. And this is actually what I like to see more when I do my tests because I like to put some more weight in the more recent years because I believe that, um, I mean, I mean, markets are con constantly changing a bit, but I think that the last years are more important than the years that are very far back. So you can see with these new settings, the last years performed a lot better than the with the previous settings. Also, it is really important um, to, to just share some more of my thoughts why I initially had this um, input that I waited for new daily highs. The, the main reason for this was just to have less trades because now, of course, I do have more trades and a smaller profit factor. Um, and usually I... I try to get rid of some of the unnecessary trades because every single trades, uh, trade just uh, produces costs. But here in this market, since the spread is only 50 points and right now the stock market uh, index is, is really high at uh, 18,000 something points. So 50 points of this is a very, very small percentage. And this would be a bigger impact if, for example, we go back to, um, to um, I don't know, a, a, a price of what we saw here maybe. I mean, if the price would be around 8,000 points, it would be a huge difference because then the relative cost would be double um, compared to like the double amount compared to what it is right now. Because you always have to take the spread and put it in relation to the current price pretty much. Because the changes, like the percentage plus and minus every single day, is also in most cases in relation to the current price of the underlying. So yeah, this is um, uh, why I think that with the current, currently high um, price or value of this stock market index, the spread is not that impactful and therefore it is not such a huge problem if I have some more trades. Okay, so I hope I was able to transport some of my thoughts. Just want to give you an update. These are my updated settings now for the DE40 and yeah, I will just see how it goes. I mean, you can see it in the streams and in my frequent update videos about this account. Hope you like this little insight and yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that my um, my thinking here was logical or do you think it's, it's, it's stupid what I just did? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to reading your opinion on this and I'm out. Have a great time. Good trades. Bye.